So uh, I have a black canvas that I painted black first with uh, acrylics and uh, it's fun to paint on a, like a dark surface because you can uh, let the motif become like lighter and lighter. Or the more layers you make. But still with some like darkness in the bottom or uh, dark background. So now I'm mixing a really nice greenish bluish here. So I'm starting with some uh, places the, in the painting that I think are going to be like more dark, more shadows and I'm uh, my vision is a face. <laughs> that's gonna like grow out from the darkness and I really like painting faces because they uh, they always express so much and it's like yeah it's like meeting another being uh, and I n don't know like I can I can have a plan about who I'm or what is gonna look like the like the being that I'm painting but I don't know and I don't know what it's gonna express when it's finished like maybe I was thinking oh I'm gonna make a really sad little uh, creature but instead it comes out like a uh, fierce uh, octopus or something <laughs> so it's it's like it has its own life also it's like creating a new being but you don't really know how uh, how it will act And also, I always had a thing with painting faces, like masks, and because I don't know, like I'm, I really like faces, <laughs> and looking at people's faces and seeing new faces and and like what can you read in a face about how this person is feeling and how has this person, how is this person's life. <coughs> And what like experiences have been s kind of saved into the face, into the features of the face. Like, was it a very troubled? Is it a very troubled person? Does it have this like troubledness in the face? It's hard to explain. <coughs> so I'm gonna go on to some lighter parts. So this, this uh, 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 being apparently d felt a little bit too big to fit on the canvas so I'm just gonna let uh, him or her kind of 
go outside of it also. <laughs> so I'm not like focusing at all on details right now, but rather the bigger features. So Hmm. I'm going in with some more reddish brownish I think I like brown and blue together So now he, this is looking quite serious. So today we have a serious visitor. He's like a little bit like kind of tired and serious face. But I know that he has a great sense of humor also even though he looks very grumpy sometimes <laughs> he's like I'm not gonna be fake happy I'm gonna be super serious as long as I want to. It looks nice with the black background now, I think, because it's also the black is kind of warm black. It's like red dish black. It goes good with the nuances, I think. And the way to make a face uh, alive is to paint the uh, pupils then you all of a sudden it has like it's alive Oh, hello. <laughs> so, this type of faces has kind of always just come to me when I've been painting, like ever, ever since I was a kid. And I never really like. I don't know, they just keep keeps wanting to kind of get be painted. And at some like sometimes I have these feelings that oh I'm gonna paint something else and I oh I don't wanna paint this that I that I paint so much or whatever, but 
now I'm more like kind of embracing it like oh, I'm just gonna keep painting my faces because I love faces <laughs> but sometimes I paint other things also but I, there's always a little face or eyes coming in somewhere that's also the thing it doesn't have to be like doesn't have to be uh, pretty it's also good to remember many times when you paint on the street or like you or when you're commissioned to paint like for people I think a lot about it like uh, what do I actually want to paint but sometimes I don't even dare to paint what I actually want to paint <laughs> so I paint like a nicer version because otherwise I don't get any more jobs it's a balance So now I mean some more green. Don't know why it just happened. It's nice to paint quickly also because you don't have so much time to think, you just kind of play. And we can do something more fun with the eyes. now he doesn't look so crazy anymore now he's back with this like serious tired face but now he looks also like it's funny how little or how much you can change just by changing a small detail like now he looks now he's like calm and just by doing like this Now he's more sad. And if we'd make a little bit more here, he becomes like more seductive. <laughs> <laughs> or more evil. <laughs> Depends on. But no, he's not evil. He's more. So what happened now? Now he looks like He's a little bit out of his mind. So now I'm going with even more shadows here. Now he almost looks like he has a winter depression. <laughs> I think I'm gonna make him open up his eyes a little bit more again. He was like, He wanted to have some more energy.
Okay. It's all I always get back to the hair, like I always end up in this situation where there's no hair and I'm like, hmm, should I make hair or not hair? Because I like keeping them more like masks. But sometimes I do like some alternative for hair, like something similar. This is a really nice like indigo blue. Mm. And that's also the thing, I think he's getting to be ready now. Because sometimes also easy to like when you make a quick painting you get the expression and then you can choose to go in and make it more detailed or you can choose to kind of just leave it like a quick expression Now he's like, oh, I'm tired of you now, leave me alone. <laughs> I'm just gonna do a little bit more. with it's always working with lights light and shadow uh, and like this space in between things now he's make, making him like grow out from the darkness more so less uh, I forgot the English word boundaries no uh, outlines something something Still keeping some like on the side more lightness, so it's one one side where the light is hitting the face. To finish this one, I think I will make like it's a really nice just bending down and getting a yellow. Recently, yellow has become like my favorite, like contrasting color. It's it's like the most 
it it really like demands your attention yellow so and kind of highlights play things that we can make Okay. And the ob obligatory little white dots in the eye also. <laughs> 